The video you're about to watch was made all in fun uh, during uh, this season and during the past year we've all had a lot of hard work and so we thought it might be kind of nice just to, to relax, let our hair down a little bit and have a good laugh and do some silly things. So please, I uh, hope you enjoy this. It's just meant again in pure fun just to be completely silly and not taken serious in any way, shape or form. Uh, again, we are looking forward to a great 2012 and uh, the future looks bright for all of us. Hi, welcome to the Bill Bonin Show today. Thanks for uh, joining us and, and watching. Today we have Eric Gregg with us as, uh, as my guest, and I'm, I'm really happy to have Eric with me today. Glad to be here, Bill. Eric, do you, do you remember that time that you ran for the city of Harrisburg mayor? Uh, I remember that very well, Bill. In fact, I won and I've been the mayor now for the last uh, several months. <coughs> so stupid. Of course. Of course you did. Mr. Bonin, were you aware of a chicken problem in southern Illinois, sir? Uh, no, I was not. Oh, <laughs> now, come on now. You know you've been reading the headlines saying that you can't have chickens in certain communities in this area, in this part of the country, and I just want to know what the problem is. Who doesn't like chickens? I Sir, no more questions. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I think we've got an issue of huge concern here. Judge, can you please make the witness answer the question? <laughs> Mr. Bonin, can you tell me where you were at, your whereabouts, sir, on November 20th, which was a Thursday night at 6 p.m., sir? I was with Answer you. the question, please, sir. I was... Were you not... at the council meeting in El Dorado, Illinois, where they were outlawing chickens? No. Did you have something to do with such a thing? No. What do you have against chickens, sir? <laughs> I love chickens. You love chickens? Well, that's not evident, because I tell you what, <laughs> they're not welcome in southern Illinois. <laughs> what is the world coming to? What is Southern Illinois coming to? I was going to take a chinchilla farm and put 200 people to work over there, but now I can't because they're not welcome. What do you know about such things, sir? I don't. Welcome back uh, to the uh, Bill Bonin Show. Our next guest is Rooster Cogburn. How you doing, uh, Rooster? Oh, it's good to be here, Bill. It's uh, been a tough year for us. <laughs> we've, uh, we've really had some, uh, uh, some issues uh, this year, but... We're, we're trying to work out, and, uh, you know, we, we were living happily in a neighbor, neighboring town, and uh, I uh, had to move my family over here uh, to uh, Harrisburg, and we're uh, living uh, kind of uh, in disguise now. So, so you're living in the city limits of Harrisburg now? Well, I can't say, Bill, because I, I don't want no more ordinances passed that's going to you know, keep us out of uh, Harrisburg, too. You know, I, I, mean, I hear that uh, Eric Gregg, the uh, mayor of Harrisburg, is a real uh, chicken hater. <laughs> I, I, I hope that's not, not the case. That, uh, I uh, hope he uh, is friendly to chickens. Uh, you know, we, uh, we, we, uh, we, we, we bring a lot of good things to the table. <laughs> Here, Bill, give <laughs> me, Bill. Right. Right. <laughs> we got to make it back. <laughs> we got to make it back to Harrisburg. They, they're, they're the mayor of Harrisburg. Oh, they're going to miss you. I got to get back. I got to get back. There's, there's, there's probably some proclamation or something I need to sign or some meeting I need to go to. I got to go now. Hurry. Oh. Hurry, Bill. Run. Let's run. All right. I keep hearing things. Bye. <laughs> we'll sprint. This morning, I have a special guest, uh, Mr. Bigfoot. Mr. Foot, how are you doing? Well, Bill, I'm doing good. It's uh, good to be here this morning. I've, uh, you know, I've been around for quite some time, and folks have been looking for me, and uh, they've uh, seen just a couple of videos. But uh, you know, I, I just thought it was time to come clean. I've been around uh, Southern Illinois, as we all know, uh, along with my cougar friends for uh, quite some time. <laughs> why? Uh, so why did you want to come out now, Mr. Foot, and uh, and tell everybody that you're here in Southern Illinois? Well, I've been roaming around Tuttle Bottoms and around Garden mm. of the Gods for quite some time, Bill, and you know. Uh, as we discussed earlier, it is, uh, you know, the, the uh, Mayan calendar uh, runs out next year and uh, or actually in 2012, December. And we know, uh, according to that, that, uh, you know, we better get our uh, ducks in a row. And so I just felt like it was time. You know, people have been, you know, kind of uh, roaming around, bumping into me. They didn't realize it, uh, you know, and uh, there's been a couple of times when I was taking a uh, nap uh, sprawled out on Camel Rock where folks have come up. And uh, I've had to jump quick and 
But you know what? It's uh, you know I've I've managed to stay out of the limelight, and but now I think it's time that uh, you know uh, giving uh, the beauty of Southern Illinois and and all the nice amenities that we do have, it's uh, it's time that I come out and be a team player. Mr. Foot, I think your cell phone is ringing. I didn't know uh, Bigfoot's had uh, modern technology these days. You've seen pretty modern. Well, I think it's important that we do stay in contact with uh, with uh, friends. That's probably one of my chicken friends calling. They uh, seem to have some problems uh, <laughs> locating <laughs> in a uh, any community here in Southern Illinois. I, I don't know what the problem is with chickens, but you know they're they're welcome out in the wild with us, and uh, you know we. We we play with them and then we eat them, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> so what do you what do you love about Southern Illinois, Mr. Foot? <laughs> well, I uh, I tell you what, I just love the uh, the people here are friendly. It's a good place to raise a family. Uh, we've got some little woogies running around and uh, and the little little furry critters. Uh, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> they, they uh, so you know if you're you know it's just a nice place to raise a Bigfoot family. We just certainly want people to come to the area. Uh, again, great things are on the horizon, and as a Bigfoot, I certainly plan on doing my part to scare folks when they come to the hills and uh, just make sure that they, they say they see me, maybe get a snapshot of my, me running. You know, I can kind of show you it's kind of like that deal there, you know, you see that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I might have my hand come through a window and grab you one night when you're sleeping, but it's all good. You know, I mean, I'm, it's all in good, good, good humor. I mean, <laughs> certainly don't want to hurt anybody. Well, I'm, I'm glad now because it's the, the uh, end of the world that you've decided to uh, <laughs> come out and, and uh, tell us about yourself and about your family. And it was really nice to meet you today, Mr. Well, it's Foot. my pleasure. You know, it's almost like a few years ago when Mr. Browning had predicted the earthquake. And, uh, you know, as a Bigfoot, we couldn't buy a can opener or a can good anywhere. And that really was a, pro you know, so we you take all that with a grain of salt, but you just want to be ready. You just want to be prepared. And so as a Bigfoot, we just think it's time that we come out and uh, we lend our hand and support and uh, do what we can to help make Southern Illinois better, Bill. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Foote, for being on our uh, show today. I really appreciate it. My pleasure, sir. Thank you for having me. You know, Bill, it is, uh, it's, it's the Christmas season, and uh, you know we all have a lot to be thankful for. And I know that you in the banking industry uh, could, would appreciate a, a nice gift from me. And so I, I, I wanted to present you with this, this nice hat, Bill, that I know you will wear with pride. And probably when you do multi-million dollar transactions, I hope you you wear this on, on behalf of your friend, uh, uh, Mayor Eric Gregg. Uh, uh, please, Bill, uh, Merry Christmas Thank you. to you, my friend. Thank, Thank you. Thank how, how come you're uh, sweating, uh, Mayor? Well, uh, I've been running, Bill. I've been running, and I've, I've actually been running thousands of miles, and I've uh, where, been where, running from Bigfoot. From? And, uh, well, uh, did, did you just see Bigfoot? He just left the uh, left the building. Actually, I saw Bigfoot, and I, I, it scared me to death because he was dressed a lot like me, and it just he, really bothered me and I you know and uh, I, I bumped into him in fact and it's I jumped and it spooked me and I ran and, uh, and you know started sweating a little bit you know so. he actually told me in the interview that he actually dresses like you and it was really cool to hear him kind of tell me that he came out of the bottoms and he was he was dressed in a suit and I asked him you know who he kind of took his uh, clothing from and he, he told me you so that's pretty cool I thought so you, you ought to be pretty happy about that bless his little heart that is, that's yeah. wonderful. Did you shake his hand? He was well, a pretty nice I, guy. I just, I just bumped into him. But the next time I see him, I will shake his hand. Good. I'll try to I, go out to Tuttle Bottoms and see him. I brought you a hat too. Or I catch know. Him, this... Catch him sprawled out on the uh, on the Camel Rocks. Well, he told me that him and his wife actually go there and um, and actually allow photos. So next time you're down there, maybe you can take your camera. And... <laughs> but I brought you a hat, so I want you. You to got know... one for me too. Bro? Yeah, I did. I did. A hat? So Should, can I, I thought... wear it at council meetings? Well, I thought it might be perfect for council meetings because. Um, you are a little bit of a crusader, and you know this is kind of a uh, Viking hat, I guess, what you call it, or whatever a it might Viking be. Viking hat? I'm intrigued. But, but I, Holy Because cow. you're kind of the captain of the ship here in Harrisburg, you know, you need to have a proper Vikings hat. <laughs> so when I was touring the Viking area around Norway, Iceland, or wherever. Iceland, or Greenland, or one of them lands. Wherever I was, I can't really remember right now. But uh, wherever I was, I picked up the hat and uh, brought it back for you. I is thought it, you might enjoy it. Thank it's a you, real, Bill. Uh, it's a real thank Viking you, Bill. hat. I think I feel I'll how probably... heavy it is. Woo! -wee. <laughs> yes. Well, I tell you what, I <laughs> that won't be... really looks good. I tell you what, I can do some some serious proclamating with this hat on, Bill. I we're can... gonna, we're gonna, we're, it's, this is a game changer. This I is can, a game changer. I could only imagine, and I will wear my hat. Well, too. I, I tell you does, what, does it look okay on me, or uh, is it? That, look, uh, that says multi-million dollar deals right there. Only in the city of Harrisburg, though. Well, well that's I, right. I do those, you know, multi-million dollar deals. That's so great, I, Bill. I yeah. think it's great. But we, you know, we certainly want to wish everyone a very merry Christmas <clears> and a happy New Year, and we hope you have a good laugh at. Uh, at what Bill and I wanted to do here, but we just really appreciate everybody, and we're very blessed and very thankful for each and every one of you, and uh, 
for everything that we do have. And uh, again, God bless you and a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. 2012 is going to be great. I just want to repeat what Eric said. Our bank is really proud to be here in uh, Southern Illinois. I, I love everybody here and I appreciate the partnership that the city of Harrisburg and, and our bank, People's National Bank, has. Uh, and I'm just really appreciative uh, to everybody who's viewing this. So love you all and uh, have a good 2012. God bless you.